Hey guys, Mike here from Arnold Tutoring uh, with a good corporate finance question. It's on stock pricing. So let's see what it says. Arnold Tutoring Inc. plans to pay a dividend of 90 cents at the end of the year and will increase that annual dividend 8% per year for seven more years. Then they expect to increase it by 2.5% per year forever going forward. Calculate the value of the stock today. Okay, so a lot of things happening. We've got our discount rate of 9%, they're telling us. Um, so we're going to use that to pull cash flows back. We've got our uh, increasing dividend. So right there we should be thinking about our increase in annuity formula. We've also got an increasing dividend going on forever. It's another important part. So that's going to be our increasing perpetuity formula. Um, I've drawn out the timeline here. Timelines I think are really important and helpful to see how many time periods we're dealing with and where certain cash flows are happening and how much they're worth at those times. So I'm going to look at the first eight years as one piece of it, then the last forever years after time eight, and we'll see how we can pull those together. When it asks for the stock, the value of the stock, that's another way of just saying the PV of the cash flows. Okay, so PV of all dividend uh, payments expected. Okay, so the first part, uh, in the first eight years, we're starting with 90 cents at the end of the year today, and that's going to grow to our last, at time 8, the dividend payment is going to be 0.9 times 1.08 to the 7. Because it's starting at 90 cents, increasing 7 more years at 8%. How do we calculate the present value of a growing annuity like that? Well, it's just this formula I've got written here. C is the cash flow at the end of the first year. So it's 0 0.9 divided by R is your... Uh, discount rate, G is your growth rate. So we're told our discount is 9. Make sure you do the right decimals. Our growth rate is 8%. 1 minus growth rate, 1 plus growth rate is 1.08 over 1.09 to the, now how many payments are there going to be? This has got to be 8. Don't get confused uh, at the fact that this only grows to the power of 7. There's 8 years of payments that we have to bring back, so the formula will take care of itself. Plugging that all in, we get uh, the present value of those first 8 years of dividends. It's going to be $6.39724871. I'll wait to round at the end. Okay? Now what happens after that? Well, we've got more cash flows coming. The next cash flow is at time 9 and it's taking the cash flow that was at time 8 and now increasing that by 2.5 percent. How do we increase it by 2.5 percent? We multiply by 1.025 like I've got here. So that is going to be the first dividend at time 9 and it's going to increase by 0 0.025 or 1.025 going forward forever. So here's where our perpetuity, growing perpetuity formula is. You take that first cash flow at the end of the first year. So take note now, we're sort of using a new timeline. I'm now calling time 8, 0, and time 9 is my end of my first year of these new cash flows. That starting cash flow is 0 0.9 times 1.08 to the 7 times 1.025. That is my the value of my cash flow at time 9, which is my new time 1. The growth, the interest rate is still 9% uh, or the discount rate, but now my growth rate is only 0 0.025. Simple, pretty simple formula for the calculation of an annuity. Now this is going to give us the present value at time 8, remember. It only brings it back to this new time 0. What does that give us? 24.32 three one two we don't want it at time eight we need to bring this back to time zero to meet up with the other cash flows how do you discount something eight years you divide it by the interest rate 1.09 to the power of eight and that equals twelve point two oh six nine five so we've got our two pieces here. This is the present value of the first eight years here in black, and the present value of from time nine cash flows forward. They're all discounted back to time zero. So our final answer, I'll write it up here when we just add those two together and don't round until the end.
$18.60. So that's the value of the stock. It's a pretty great company, so I would expect it to be a pretty high number like that. Um, now, it looks messy now, but hopefully you can see the idea would be that we recognize that there is a growing dividend. So that should clue us right into stock prices being the present value of those dividends. If we need the present value of growing cash flows, that's just our present value annuity formula with the G in it, which is your growth rate. Um, the, I think one of the hardest parts of these questions is getting our C values in the, uh, in the formulas correct because those have to correspond with the first cash flow at the end of the first year. So as long as we get that right, the discounting shouldn't be too bad and the calculations aren't too, too bad either. You can always email us more questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.